The ham radio spectrum is under attack again, and we need your help to defend it. This is James KN4NEH, the CEO of Ham Radio Prep, and most recently, the World Radio League, where our mission is to get more hams licensed and on the air. Today, I have an extremely important update about the ham radio spectrum that concerns all of us. But first, I want to briefly explain why spectrum defense is so important in ham radio for those of you who are newer to ham radio, or have never been part of a spectrum defense effort before. So first of all, ham radio in the United States is governed by the FCC, the Federal Communications Commission. The FCC basically partitions all of the radio spectrum into different uses. So of course, you've got your Wi-Fi, your cell phones, those use certain spectrum. You've got commercial applications, you've got business applications. All of us have to share all of these different frequency allocations so that no one is interfering with other folks. You wouldn't want to put an antenna up on your roof and accidentally interfere with government communications or with cell towers. So it serves a very important function of making sure that everyone is using the spectrum appropriately and not interfering with each other. Amateur radio, aka ham radio, has a very specific spectrum allocation. So we've got our VHF and UHF frequencies for more of those high frequency, short range local communications. We also have all of our HF bands for that worldwide propagation, 10 meter, 20 meter, 40 meter, 60 meter. That's what allows ham radio operators to talk all the way around the world. And all of this spectrum is extremely important so that we can exercise our rights as amateur radio operators to communicate locally and worldwide on the amateur radio bands. Now, every so often, the FCC or some business comes and proposes a change to that spectrum. And often what they wanna do is take away some of our spectrum as amateur radio operators and allocate that to someone else, allocate it to a business, allocate it to a commercial application or change according to some other guidelines. This is extremely important that when they are trying to change our spectrum and when they're trying to take away, generally take away some amateur radio spectrum, that we let them know, hey, we're here, we're amateur radio operators, we use this spectrum and we need to keep it. And while what we're gonna to present today is not a huge change to the spectrum, the thing is, if you give an inch, they're gonna take a mile. So every time the FCC is making a proposal to change the amateur radio spectrum, it's important that we let them know that we're here, that we're operating, and that we do not want to lose our spectrum. So that brings us to today. What is happening and how you can help on this most recent proposal? A discussion on 60 meters is open at the FCC with potential changes coming to frequency allocations and power limits for the 60 meter band. The FCC is looking to act on recommendations by the IARU. They include standardizing ham frequencies into a 15 kilohertz band on 60 meters. Also, there is a recommendation to lower power to 15 watts from the current 100 watts. So basically nuking the power down from 100 watts to 15 watts and your feedback may keep this from happening. The options the FCC put forward is to move from the four channelized 60 meter frequencies today to a band. That new band would be at 5.351 to 5.366 megahertz, a 15 megahertz window. Because hams also have a legacy on the four other frequencies, we think this should just be additive, not a replacement. Let's not take away, let's just add this new frequency allocation. This allows for more options to use 60 meters. It also standardizes the new 15 megahertz window with privileges in Canada. We also think that lowering the power output to 15 watts would make these bands ineffective. Having 100 watts of power when needed makes communications way more effective. Arguments could even be made for more power and according to all the research we've looked at, there is no history of harmful interference in the band, so there's no reason to nuke it from 100 watts down to 15 watts. Now's your chance to tell the FCC what you think and make your voice heard and defend our spectrum. So we're gonna include some links to some guides on how to submit a comment with the FCC and let's get together and let the FCC know we're out here and we are using this spectrum. Your input does make an impact. And so now I'm gonna make my comment here and I'm gonna show you exactly how to make a comment. What's really important when making these comments is that you add some consideration and you add some really good comments so that you don't come off as just angry. You wanna let them know in a very nice way that you're using the spectrum and that you wanna keep it. 
All right, so here we go. I'm on the FCC website, and if you haven't commented on an FCC filing before, this is just a really good experience and really good to get used to because Spectrum Defense things do come up pretty regularly, so you're going you're going to want to be used to uh, commenting on FCC proceedings so you can help defend the amateur radio spectrum. And so all I'm going to do is come into this link for this proceeding in particular, and I'm going to click submit an express filing. This is actually really easy. Uh, so you're going to enter the name, your name. So it, you'll see it's already automatically selected the proceeding number. So when you click that filing, it brings that over. Don't change that. And I'm going to enter my email here. Uh, I'm going to enter my email for a receipt confirmation. And then I am going to enter my address, which is required. And my zip code. And then you get into the comments. So this is where you can sort of add your own flair. If you've had any particular experience with the 60 meter band using those different frequency allocations, you can add that in. So I'm gonna provide my own sort of flavor here of what I wanna comment. Uh, we'll provide this just as an example, but it's important to sort of add your own flavor to this, let them know your own comments about this. But more than anything, you wanna be thoughtful in these comments. You don't wanna be rude. Anything that's construed as rude, is really going to hurt the cause more than help the cause. We just want to show the FCC that we do care about this band. We do care about the power and the frequency allocation here, that we're actively using it, and that we don't want to, uh, to for that to be taken away. In my case, what I'm asking for here is to not change the power allocation from 100 watts to 15 watts. That's going to reduce communications capability, which is important for many reasons. Um, and then I'm going to say that as far as the frequency allocations, it should be additive, not a replacement. We should still keep the existing frequency allocations, which is going to uh, protect the interest of amateur radio in the U.S., but also allow us to be in alignment with the international community, which is important for making those uh, DX international contacts. So I'm also going to request an email confirmation on the filing. And then I am going to, in addition, and then in addition, I'm going to check this box acknowledging that I am filing into an official FCC proceeding. You can read that and get some more information if you want about the privacy implications of that. So I'm going to continue into the review screen. It's going to let me know exactly what's being submitted. So here's an opportunity to check your work, make sure everything's good. We'll pass through the CAPTCHA. Submit. That's all there is to it. Now I'm on my confirmation screen and I have submitted a comment to the FCC. So stay on the lookout for more updates like this for Spectrum Defense and make sure to subscribe to our channel. So anytime there is a Spectrum Defense update like this one, you'll be the first to hear about it. Thanks. This is James KN4NEH saying 73, and I hope to hear you on the air soon. For more information about how you can personally help defend the amateur radio spectrum, be sure to click the link in the description below. We're going to have an entire post with helpful information, links, and guides about spectrum defense and how to make more comments like this one.